Hi, this is Arthur from the Minute Review Show. If you have a minute, I have an opinion. If you are visiting New York City and shop on Canal Street near Chinatown, you'll come across several good options for restaurants along a street that is known more for knockoff handbags. In this video, I'll take you to East Season Restaurant, a Cantonese restaurant that sits right in front of the junction of several subway lines. It's easy to get here, but is the food worth it? We'll take a look at this long-running restaurant. Come join me. Hi, this is Arthur from the Minute Review Show. Today I'm on Canal Street. Canal Street is one of the largest uh, streets in Chinatown and uh, it's known for counterfeit products, but it's also very crowded and there are a bunch of good restaurants here, especially Cantonese restaurants. So uh, today I'm at East Season Restaurant, a Cantonese restaurant on the south side of Canal Street. We're going to try two different dishes here. Actually, three different types of roast meats. I purposely chose three different types of roast meats because I feel that the quality of a restaurant can be judged by how they make their roast meats. Please take a look at the uh, menu uh, that's coming up right after this. Join me. We're at East Season Restaurant. Let's take a look at the menu. This is a Cantonese menu. It's gonna be pretty big. Uh, we're starting off with uh, some seafood. Uh, and these are all special price. We're coming up to the appetizers, soups, and they have a bunch of clay pots. Pretty good selection. And uh, we also have some uh, chow fun chow mein and fried rice. Another big selection of these. There's 33 of them. Here's uh, an assortment of vegetables. Mind you that this is the dinner menu. And then we have some pork dishes. Next we have some chicken dishes, about 13 of them, some beef dishes, another 13, seafood, wow, 24 seafood dishes, and then we have some house special dishes that, are, uh, th that aren't categorized, um, so there's a whole bunch of different items here. And finally, you can order an entire roast baby pig and SP, special price, so we don't know how much that is. Next we have the uh, roast meats, and uh, here are the there are different configurations of this. Let's take a look at the lunch menu. Uh, the lunch menu is valid from Monday to Sunday, seven days a week, from 10.30 to 4 o'clock p.m. And look how big this menu is. There's literally 56 different items on this menu. And if we flip this menu, to the other side, we see that there is an assortment of roast meats. Look how extensive it is. And uh, on the bottom, there's also some Hong Kong style noodles that are uh, served in bowls, in soup, and basically these are uh, soup noodles with roast meats. Okay. For the first dish, I ordered the two barbecue meats combination. I chose roast pork and I chose the roast pig. Now, I've never had either of these at this restaurant. Uh, this is the first time I've ever been here. So let's take a look. Wow. From what I can see here, these are very fatty. So this is very good. It looks very promising. And uh, the meat is not discolored, which is really good. So, um, you know, it won't be candy-like. Like, it penetrated all the way through. So that's actually a good sign. Now, uh, let's take a look at the roast pork. Uh, sorry, the roast pig. And uh, yes. This appears to be a uh, pork belly, but only one layer of fat, so maybe not the pork belly, but we'll, we'll see very soon. And once again, it comes in a pile of rice, so this is a lunch special. Okay, the first item I'm going to try is the roast pork. This is the roast pork. It's very highly fatted, I would say. There's a nice streaky bits of fat here. Let's try it. This is so good very moist very moist the fat does not overwhelm the meat the sweet has classic chashu flavor i just took a bite of the rice and i can tell that it's jasmine rice it's very good they didn't skimp on the rice quality they use jasmine rice the next meat i'm going to try is the roast pig and this is what it looks like i took a closer exam 
examination of this and uh, I discovered that it probably isn't the uh, rib meat because the rib meat for a roast pig is the best meat because it has the multiple layers of fat. This is probably taken from the back of the, the butt of a, uh, a pork. This is less fatty, you can tell over here. There's still a layer of fat near the skin. So I'm hoping that this tastes good. Let's try this. Crunchy. Not too salty, which is good. It has that classic, classic um, five spice flavor on the bottom. It's not overly salty, just the right amount of salt. The skin is crunchy. Actually, the skin isn't too thick in terms of the crunch. It's not totally puffed up, but it's puffed up enough to give it a crunch. So uh, I think it would have been different if I got a rib piece. But one thing that you should know is that if you're ordering a plate of rice like this, it is highly, highly unlikely they're going to give you a rib meat or the belly meat. Why? Because that's the most prized part of roast pig, you know, the crispy uh, pork. So they usually give those to people who are taking out uh, or bringing it home. And uh, it'll give the cheaper cuts to the diners. I think you can specifically ask for it, but I didn't bother because I didn't want to be a pest. The last component of this lunch dish is choy sum. Now there's just regular Chinese greens. Um, there's a slight bit of uh, soy sauce put onto this, so let's see if it's nice and fresh. Mm. Nice and crunchy. Done just right. Not overly sauced, but crunchy. Crunchy equals freshness. This is good. All in all, this dish has plenty of meat. I would say at least half a half a strip of tasio, meaning uh, the roast pork, and probably about six or seven inches worth of the roast pig. So there's plenty of food to get full on. I don't normally order soda, but I decided to splurge today. There. A Sprite. Okay, the second and final dish that I ordered is actually half a roast duck. Now, I love roast duck, Cantonese roast duck. And uh, they gave us the entire half. You got the leg here, you got the wing here, you got the breast here, I think the back over here. And uh, let's flip this around and take a look at what it looks like. And this is great. It looks, it has that nice seasoned skin, uh, that dark duck meat over here. Uh, let's take a look at the breast meat. Yes, on skin is nice and dark. It looks very juicy. I see a lot of oil here, which is a good characteristic of duck. And um, seeing what we have over here in the back. Yeah, the duck back has plenty of fat here. And once again, it looks super juicy. I can't wait to get my, <laughs> get my teeth into this. This looks so good. I'm about to try the delicious roast duck. Now, I haven't eaten a single piece of this, but my prediction is that this is gonna be out of this world. So take a look at this. I'm gonna eat pieces from the back, the front, and the, and the leg. Let's try the leg meat. Now this is the uh, drumstick. Wow. The duck fat just burst through. This is delicious. Let's have another piece of leg meat. Here's a little further up the leg. It has that nice duck flavor, not overdone. Done just right. The interesting thing is that this duck isn't too highly salted. Actually, it's a little under salted, but I still think it's okay. Because you could always ask for some uh, duck sauce maybe some plum sauce or maybe some more uh, soy sauce to add to this. But alone, it's still good because that duck flavor really comes through. It's not overdone, it's ju done just right. I like this. Next, let's try the duck breast. Now, this should be really good. Let's try this. Wow. Wow. Totally different experience than from the leg. 
this is where the seasoning is put, like right below the rib, rib cage. All of that flavoring has seeped through into that breast meat. It is so delicious. Skin is so nice and thin. It's kind of crackly. Crackly. I like it. This is perfect Cantonese roast duck. The flavor is excellent. Here's another piece of the duck breast. Now this one has more meat than the other piece. So let's give this a try. So nice. It's still savory. Now this one's not as concentrated as the other one. The other one had was closer to the bone, so the flavor was more concentrated. But the piece that I just had is bigger and didn't penetrate as much, but it's still good. It still has that layer of fat, goes perfect with the rice, and it's delicious. Boy, did I like that duck. It was so good. Now, one thing I wanted to say is that people tend to forget that Canal Street is a great place to find uh, Chinese food. A lot of people tend to forget about this as being a food street. There's Mont Street, there's Mulberry Street, there's all those restaurants in the old part of Chinatown, Dory Street, but people tend to forget Canal Street. There are tons of, not tons, but there are many good places to eat, especially Cantonese. Some newer concepts and a lot of older concepts. This is an older concept restaurant, a traditional Cantonese roast meat restaurant. But if you find yourself on this street, which you probably will if you visit New York, you should come here because the prices are reasonable and as you saw, the food is excellent. I have to tell you that the um, roast stuff, half of it is only $21. Now where can you find that in New York these days? Okay, the meal is over. What can I say? The measure of a good Cantonese restaurant can usually be measured by the quality of the roast meats. I had their roast duck, roast pig, and cha the roast pork, and I was so happy with all three of them. The roast pig, I'm sure if I got the rib meat, I'm sure I would have been happy with that. Flavor was right, but I just didn't get the best cut of pork. If you come to uh, East Season, you can easily come here by taking the 456 train, the Lexington Avenue line, or the N and the R straight down Canal Street. There are so many subway lines that come down to Canal Street. So come here, enjoy the food of Chinatown. And uh, if you want reasonably priced Cantonese food, this is one spot that you shouldn't miss. Thanks for watching my video. If you like Cantonese restaurants, other Chinese restaurants, or just many different kinds of uh, restaurants in general. Please check out my channel. I have many playlists. Um, I recently put up a Cantonese restaurant playlist on my channel, so you can check that out. Thanks again for joining me, and uh, I hope to see you again in my next video. The final bill was $42, which included a tip.